Hey there, it's Amanda here from Blogs by Jarvis. Today we're going to be looking at how to set up the Surfer content editor and to use the brief feature to outline a blog post that makes a high content score already before you even write a word. So today I'm going to be working on the keyword here, blogging recipes. And this is one of the Surfer content um, editors that I've made in my content planner. And it has uh, multiple keywords in there which you can see all the keywords down here. So the first place that we're going to start off is the brief. And here we have an outline from H1 to H4. Before we even start here, I just want to say here, um, Surfer have given you links to the highest ranking blog posts for this keyword. So, it is worth just clicking through to these, just quickly scanning these and having a look at how the content is formatted and seeing what Google prefers to make this piece of content actually rank the highest. So we're going to start with H1. Now, what we want to bear in mind here is how does this piece of content fit into your own blog? Who is the content speaking to and what is the purpose of this content? So as you're going through these suggested H1s, and the H1s here, they're not unique, they are actually scraped, the H1s. So um, I think that we'll uh, start here, how to start a food blog and make money step by step. So just bear in mind that you're going to have to rewrite that. Um, and I'd go back to the guidelines here and I look at blog blogging recipes. So um, uh, how to write blogging recipes. Make money a step step by step. There you go. So now you've got an H1, and uh, you, you just want to rewrite that a little bit. So next you're going to go through and just have a look at the H2 to H4, and basically work your way through and figure out which of these actually suit your article. So these are good questions. So how can I make money from my recipes? How do food bloggers make money? Show you beautiful images, uh, pick your blogging platform, set up your food blog, monetize your food blog. So we're talking about how to write blogging recipes and make money. So I like this. So let's start with uh, pick your blogging platform. So that would be step one. Step two would be set up your food blog. Then um, I'd want somewhere in there, something in there about writing the food blogs. Um, let's come back to that. Okay, so set up your food blog, get started with your own food blog. That's where you could talk about uh, writing recipes and things. Then uh, I'll create the content and start blogging. So I'm going to take out get started. So start blogging. I'm going to go back to um, there's some more here. Monetize. So monetize your food blog. Use social media to grow your audience. Okay, and then let's just ooh, sharpen your SEO skills. I like that. See, there's lots of startup things in here. Pick your niche, name your blog. You know, at this point, I'm assuming that people uh, would would know these things. But we can go back to here, start a few blog basic steps. So this would, could be a summary. Okay, and then let's have a look at some H3s. So social media, uh, the best web host for new food blogs. Okay, so picking your blogging platform and then slot in uh, the best web host for new food blogs. How do I find a niche? I quite like that because you, you know, I mean, I write for the keto, so that's a niche for a food blog. Types of food blogs, 
um, so you have domain, search engines, pre-built themes. So depending on, on um, how technical this is, we're talking about making money. So some of these aren't necessarily um, appropriate. Let's go through these at H4. Set up, install WordPress, choosing plugins. How do I make a free blog? How do I get more traffic? I like that. So after we've got um, use social media, so we're gonna put how do I get more traffic down here? I think I put this in the wrong place, so let's just move that. Themes, hosting package, payment information. Okay, and there was something back in H2 about images that we missed. So, Sorry, if I scroll quickly, I'm going to miss it. Um, yeesh. Get started. Social media. It's always the way, isn't it? Ah, oh, show beautiful images. Monetize social media shopping. How to get more traffic to my food blog? Okay, so that's just a really basic outline. There's actually a lot more content that we could put in there, but, but if we're having this article just as how to write blogging recipes and make money step by step. Okay, so let's just go and have a look at how we score on that already. So we haven't written a word and we're at 50. So the next step would be to have a look at those headings. And see what terms need to go into headings and we've actually touched those quite well blogging recipes food blog food blogger food blogs and own food blogs so uh, how do i find a niche for my food blog looking more blogging platform new food blogs we've got food blogs here for quite a few times so i'd say for a new food blogger And now we've. Oh. Okay, so that was my fault because I was using food blogs there. So. Um, I'm sure, we can go back and. Okay, this is my fault. So let's just go and undo what we did there. So, what we're looking for is just an opportunity to put food blogger in, but we'll have uh, other opportunities and headings. So basically, we've scored 50, we've got 1196 words out of the 5,000 we need, um, 12 paragraphs, but we need a lot more, obviously, um, and we've only got 11 headings. So, but we've, we're already at 50 and we've got an outline for our, our blog here. So the next thing that we can do is have a look at some of the questions, so topics and questions. So I love these. So you could literally just take these and copy them in, and you wouldn't necessarily need all of those, but copy those in, paste those here, and we're up to 55, but we haven't made any of those headings. So if you literally went through and made those headings, so we're going to make these H3s because they're like an FAQ. Then what we'll see is eventually that score will climb up. Can you see now we're at 56, etc. So I 
I won't bore you with doing all that, but you get the idea. So that's a really, really quick and easy way to just use what's in the brief here and pick out what you need to outline your blog. So obviously there's a lot more steps in here that we could have put in, but we've got um, how to write money, how to write blogging recipes, make money step by step. So um, the basic steps. So here, let's let's elaborate here. So the basic steps. So here we had um, a lot more information on, um, so uh, finding a niche, picking a blogging platform, best web host, There's definitely a lot more information here. Um, oh, I like, uh, so um, under monetize, so monetize, then we could have look for diverse sources of income. Um, start a newsletter. That's quite good as well. So here, purchase WordPress and install WordPress. So we could have that under, so set up your food blog, best web host, purchase WordPress. Ooh, actually add rich snippets. So I like that. So we're gonna put that under the SEO, shop on your SEO skills, add rich snippets. Set up Google Tools. Final thoughts. Oh, and here's a really good one. Do you remember we had the, um, oh, I'm gonna put that at the end, sorry. Do you remember how we had food blogger that we wanted to get into the headline. So we've got a food blogger. So we can add that here. Food blogger FAQ. Cool. So now we've hit that and we've been. So now we're at 60, we're at 2000 words. Um, we've got 23 headings, so we're nearly there, and 18 paragraphs. We need a lot of paragraphs, but here, obviously, you break these paragraphs down. So that's just an outline of blog. So I would now take that over to Jarvis. Um, I would, uh, you know, run this through and make sure that I've got a catchier title. I write uh, an intro here with an AIDA or a PAS, um, or use a recipe to uh, make an interesting blog intro paragraph, maybe. Um, I have the Blogs by Jarvis rewrite recipe, which you could use there, but just to, I mean, this is mentioning Australia, so obviously you could make it um, more pertinent to, more pertinent and more personal to your blog. And then basically, really with Jarvis, you can use the rewrite function to go through some of this. I do find that not necessarily all of this text is um, exactly what I want or pertinent to the exact blog post that I want to write, but I do find that you can rephrase some of it, pick out some key concepts in there, and then just use Jarvis in boss mode to run through and fill in the blanks between these steps for you, basically. So rather than using Jarvis to write the outline of the blog post, you have all the information in brief here, and it's giving you literally the recipe for success for this blogging recipes article by telling you exactly the type of content that Google wants to see in this article. And then you just build out your article steps, take that over to Jarvis, fill in the blanks, expand upon it, make it you know in your voice, more appropriate to your exact niche or blog, um, and and there you go. So this probably takes me about ten minutes to set up, and then I would go over to Jarvis and uh, do all that, and then in Jarvis with the Surfer connection, I'd go through and obviously make sure that these keywords have been hit. Um, and I'll have another video about optimizing keywords, but basically how easy it is just to sort of go through the text and just add in these keywords manually just by eye 
as you're doing the edit, it's actually not that hard. So there you go, um, Amanda, blog by Jarvis. I hope that helps just to show you how, how to use the brief feature.